have there guys and welcome to my channel I thank you for joining me for another video I'm it's Kid Bombing here I'll be your storyteller today on this brand new video some of you might recognize me already from previous videos I'd like to thank you for for supporting my channel I much appreciate you guys so first of all I'll show, I'll show a story book I've got some of you quite you might be familiar with if you don't know it yet. I have got Disney's Aladdin and the and the White Baby Camel. It was published by Disney's One of Earth Reading and Gorilla Book Club Edition. So what I tend to do, I gotta read this book read it by words and also shown pictures from each page. Well, you have come to the right place. That's good. So, shall I begin? Once upon a time in the city of Alcabal, there lived a poor boy named Aladdin with promises of a beautiful treasures for evil sorcerer Javar, Lord Aladdin, and his pet monkey Abu to the desert to search for the magic lamp. There, they met a friendly fine carpet which led them straight to the magic lamp. As Aladdin picked it up, he wondered why anyone would want anything so worthless. Then he rubbed the lamp. Suddenly, a friendly magical genie appeared and granted Aladdin three wishes. One of, one of Aladdin's wishes was to become a prince. Now he and a beautiful princess, Jasmine, could marry and live happily together. Aladdin used his last wish to free the genie, who flew off to see the world. Aladdin and Jasmine decided to plan their wedding and life in Agrabah went on as usual. One afternoon, a very special caravan arrived. It was full of wonderful wedding presents from the kings and sultans of many distant lands. Among all of the magnificent wedding presents was the most amazing gift of all, a totally white baby camel. No one in the kingdom had ever seen a white camel before and everyone gasped in astonishment. The poor cam little camel was frightened by all the attention and looked about nervously. Jasmine saw a little white camel from her balcony and rushed down to hug him. Oh, you are so sweet, she said. Welcome to my kingdom. But lurking in the crowd was an evil thief. He saw the baby camel and gave a twisted smile as he thought that animal might be worth a fortune. Jasmine took a little camel into the palace garden and tried to make him feel at home. But even though she fed him and cuddled him, he was very sad and nothing cheered him up. He might be homesick, said Aladdin. Perhaps some music will make him feel better. He played a, a little jig on his flute. The baby camel's ears pricked up and started to smile. And then he started to dance happily to the music. Jasmine was so glad to see the, the little camel looking happy. Then she joined in and clapped her hands to the music. That night, while the little camel slept in the palace stables, a shad shadowy figure sneaked past the sleeping guard and sneaked out again. The next morning, Aladdin woke with a start as Abu jumped onto the bed, chattering furiously and pulling 
at the bed's clothes. Aladdin quickly realised that something was wrong. He jumped out of the bed. He followed Abu to the stables. Then, there, an embarrassed guard told Aladdin that someone had sneaked into the stables during the night and had stolen a little white camel. Jasmine would be heartbroken, Aladdin cried. We'll have to find a little fellow and bring him back. So Aladdin and Abu raced back to the palace to fetch their old friend. The magic carpets, soon all of them, all three of them were flying high over the desert searching for a thief. Soon they spotted some footprints and followed them until they reached the camp hit in the middle of the desert. A short, dirty man came out of the tents. He smiled mockingly. Can I help you? He asked. We have lost our white baby camel, Aladdin replied. Have you seen one recently? I certainly have, said the man smugly. In these parts, all the camels are right. Save yourself. Aladdin and Abu turned to look and got a shock of their lives. Behind the fence were dozens of camels of all shapes and size, and all of them were white. But then Abu saw a, a sack of flour hidden in a tent and brought it out to show Aladdin. Then, for the dirty thief had used the flower to make them all camels look white so he could hide the baby camel he had st stolen. Aladdin knew that Jasmine's camel was nearby, but how could he find him? Suddenly, he remembered. He pulled out his flute, he began to play, and sure enough, one of the little camels began to dance mer merrily. As Aladdin stepped forward to take the camel, the rascally thief suddenly grabbed Abu by tail and threatened him with his sword. If you want to keep your monkey or friend alive, then, then leave now without the camel and don't come back, he told Aladdin. Aladdin was furious, but he had no choice. If he didn't give his word, Abu would die. All right. Your thief, he muttered. We will go I'll, and I promise we won't come back. So Abu was freed and f flew away on the magic in the carpet on the carpet. The land did at a nearby oasis and sat down. I don't know what to do, Abu. And then aside, I wish we had someone to help us. Suddenly a grinning face appeared in a puff of smoke. Oh, good! Came a familiar voice. Did I hear your wish for help? I tried of being on hard. I'm tired of being on holiday. It was a genie. As he put down his suitcases, he said, "Let's have some fun. What, what do you want me to do?" Aladdin greeted the genie joyfully and quickly explained for the problem. I promise that I won't go back and rescue the camp baby camel, but there's nothing else to stop you from trying. Hmm, said the genie. A camel, hey? Perhaps, perhaps I'll show a fat thief just how interesting camels can be. He grinned, changed into the bag a big blue camel and raced into the thieves camp. The genie began to circle round the camp, running faster and faster. The thief couldn't believe his eyes. First he had found a little white camel and now there was 
a could it be fast blue one? Oh, what an amazing animal, he thought. If I own if only I could catch him, I'd win every race in the land and make a fortune. Then to the thief, Sciencement, the blue camel walked up to him and knelt down. What luck what luck? He wants me to ride with him. He loved the thief and quickly climbed onto the camel's back. Immediately, to the thief's surprise, the camel began to run faster and faster. The nervous rascal could barely hold on. Suddenly, the camel started to grow and change shape. It became a giant snake and dived in and out out of sand. The terrified thief screamed, Stop! Let me off! Within seconds, the giant snake reached the ocean. It leaped into the water. Oh no, stop! Take me back to the land, the thief begged. I can't swim. I don't like water. It's, it's so too wet. But the snake just laughed and plunged beneath the waves again. Then, moments later, the snake changed into a dragon with a mighty wings. The dragon laughed as he carried the ter terrified thief for the air and roared. Where should I drop you, you are school? Into a volcano perhaps? Or back into the ocean? Or would you prefer to give back the real white camel you stole? The thief was, the thief was shocked. You c c can talk? He said in disbelief. Okay, put me down. I'll give back he stumped i p -p -p promise the dragon flew back to the thief's camp and changed back into the genie the thief was totally confused as the genie walked away with a white baby camel he said the first thing you must do is stop scrubbing all your camels the thief was so frightened, he didn't dare disobey. Soon he was hard at work, scrubbing all the flour out of the camels. Later, when they had all gone back to the palace, Aladdin and the genie played lively, lively music, so they thought the little cam camel could dance and entertain Princess Jasmine. She was delighted to have little fellow back. It was suddenly going to be a wonderful wedding. The end. So, I hope you guys enjoyed um nice um majestic storybook was based based on the original nineteen ninety two animated classic Aladdin. In um a non film version with a story highlights. Well, it's been a hundred years last year since Walt Disney Company has turned a hundred. Behind the magical history of animation studios has been completely changed by the time. Okay guys, so feel free to give thumbs up and leave comments down below. Okay, so remember don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit my notification, don't miss out on future contents. And just a video just a, um, you can find me on social media from the video description down below. Perhaps you've seen my on the intro already earlier. You can find me on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram and TikTok. You can support my additional contents. That'd be really more appreciate you guys also. Right, and I'm about to head off and please stay tuned for future videos, especially read it out sort of reviews and mug Okay, so I'll see you soon and thank you very much.